We have lowered the small business tax rate to 11 percent and increased the amount of annual income eligible for this lower rate. Today, I am pleased to announce that our government will reduce the tax rate further, all the way down to 9 percent by 2019. Trudeau against the small business tax cut before he was for it, kind of. He's all confused. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. I'm going to try and, and make sense of Justin Trudeau's position on the small business tax cut announced in the federal budget because he seems a little confused. I, I, so much so that the NDP is even putting out a, a press release on the issue. They sent out this reality check to the media and elsewhere on Wednesday. It said, Yesterday, Justin Trudeau once again made it painfully clear he has no plan for the economy or a sense of where he stands on major policy issues. He's simply not ready to lead. Why are they saying that? Well, because on CBC's Power and Politics, right after the budget, Trudeau said he was against the tax cut. Let's see what you wouldn't support. Would you support lowering the small business corporate tax from 11 to 9 percent? I'm in favor of helping small businesses, but this is a tax, and it's interesting because the NDP are supporting this too, that actually when you look into it, helps wealthier Canadians uh, disproportionately rather than the small businesses that we want to actually be helping. Why is that? Uh, because a lot of wealthier Canadians incorporate themselves and their services, and actually uh, the, the, you know, a lot of people making over $150,000 a year will benefit directly from that tax cut, uh, which is not what we want to be doing to help small businesses. Okay, so you wouldn't support that? So uh, not, not, not really. It needs to be redesigned. That's a pretty confusing answer he gave CBC. I'm not sure Evan Solomon or those following along at home were able to figure out what Trudeau meant by it. He tried to add a little bit of clarity on Wednesday when he told reporters that, well, he wouldn't get rid of the small business tax cut, but he still doesn't like it. The, the Liberal Party believes in uh, helping out small businesses. They're an important motor for our economy. We certainly wouldn't reverse the uh, uh, the cut uh, to small business uh, uh, taxes. Uh, however, we do have concerns around the implementation to make sure that it's fair. There's a number of studies that have shown uh, that it disproportionately benefits, in some cases, uh, wealthier Canadians. Uh, and that's uh, one of the lenses through which the Liberal Party will make sure that, uh, that measures going forward uh, do, that they help the people who need the help and not, as this budget does, uh, people who don't need the help. So he is opposed to it, but he won't rescind it. But he wants to change the way it's done so that it's more fair. If you think this is confusing, well, you're right. It shouldn't be surprising, though. Remember, this is the man who once said this. How, how committed to a balanced uh, budget would you be right now? Would it worry you to go into deficit in this current climate to, as you say, put more people to work? The, the commitment needs to be uh, a commitment to grow the economy and the budget will balance itself. Budgets will balance themselves. That's a statement that's going to haunt Justin Trudeau for his entire political career. But he made matters worse after the, uh, after the budget came out because he tried to claim that, well, the balanced budget from the Conservatives is, well, that's just really what Liberals do. Listen. Sir, Mr. Trudeau, Mr. Trudeau, Mr. Trudeau, would you have a, a balanced budget in 2016? It's a well-established fact. Liberals balance budgets. Conservatives have been running deficits. Historically, liberals balance the budget. I want to read to you from what Kelly McParland over at National Post pointed out in a, a piece online about the liberal record on the budget. Yes, we know that eventually Jean Chrétien was able to, to stop the deficit spending, but here's some numbers from Trudeau Sr. when he was in office. McParlin points out that Trudeau, Pierre Trudeau, had one balanced budget. Number of de deficit budgets by Pierre Trudeau, 14. Total deficits under a Trudeau government, 137.8 billion. How much is that in inflation adjusted terms? Well, it'd be $381.2 billion today. A deficit inherited by Pierre Trudeau, 0.9% of the GDP. Deficit passed on by Pierre Trudeau, 8.3% of GDP. Deficit in Trudeau's final year, 32.4 billion. What's that adjusted for inflation? 65.7 billion dollars. That's quite a remarkable feat. So Justin Trudeau being surprised that well, liberals don't actually balance budgets. Justin Trudeau not knowing what to do about a small business tax credit. It shouldn't surprise you at all. As the NDP says, this guy really isn't ready to lead.